<clears throat> start up here with the motor. There's a little valve cover leak. I believe it's a valve cover leak. It may be this sensor O-ring or this, but it's it's up underneath this. I had to take it off to look at it. But there's a, yeah, a little leak here. A little leak on this side, <clears throat> which is definitely the, the valve cover gasket. Other than that, it runs smooth. There's no other major leaks that I've seen. It all looks fairly dry. One thing I did notice is the check engine, the codes. There was no check engine light, but there is cylinder misfire. Just showing these, but they're pending codes. So they're not permanent codes. If those two were actually shaking and misfiring right now, you can see it shaking the steering wheel. The whole vehicle would be moving. See. Other than that, I mean, all the fluids look topped off. Looks fine. We got that put back on. And all the brakes. You can't really see them, but they're pretty thick. They look like they've been recently replaced. The tires all look like they've got good tread. Same thing with these pads. Tires similar. Front two tires are the same in the front. The boots on the struts, uh, they're both out, but it's just mainly a, a dust cover. The rear pads. Can't really see in there, but they're thick and new also. Rear tires, rear tires look brand new. They still have the little nipples on there. And it's also a matching, matching rear tire, same age. And the pads, the pads are good too. As far as underbody leaks, it all looks dry, except this part right here, but I think that was from cleaning. <clears throat> so all this stuff in here is pretty wet from the tire shine, stuff they, they used to make it pretty. Other than that, Motor looks dry. There's no serious scuff marks. And it's a busy, busy place. <clears throat> a little fender bender here. Just looks like they bumped into something. It's not anything structural. Other than that. There's a few scuffs here and there. The hood is pretty pristine. And I guess since you've already test driven it, you've seen the majority of the body, which I don't really see any dings or scratches on this side. A few scratches on the, the back from loading and unloading stuff it needs to be washed down a little but it hasn't been rear-ended looks like the factory paint it's a little scuff there nothing really major 
a few scratches. I found one dent on the top, which is really hard to see, like right here. Other than that, I couldn't find any more. <clears throat> but I'm gonna get this put back on here, take it for a test drive, check out all the inside stuff. And I'll let you know when I find out.